Hello, uh, uh, my name is uh, Roshan Gurupari. I'm from One Convergence. So here to talk about uh, uh, basically network and service uh, overlays for SDN. So th there were uh, a few other stocks uh, earlier, so that kind of laid the context. So that makes my job easier. So ho hopefully uh, that gives you an idea of uh, what network overlays are all about. So uh, essentially, so, so we do uh, network virtualization based on an overlay model, the IETF, NV03, uh, uh, similar to some of the other vendors that presented here today. But uh, we go beyond that. So we beyond the network overlays with this uh, uh, concept of uh, service overlays. So essentially, what we're doing is uh, uh, on, on top of the network overlay, we're, uh, for layer four through seven services, uh, we're creating this uh, service overlay. So where uh, we're doing, that is where we're bringing in our value add, uh, our differentiation. So we call this the service delivery platform. As part of this, uh, the kinds of uh, things that we do are uh, basically uh, insertion of, uh, of a service, you know, L2, L3, uh, chaining of these services, basically. So when I say service uh, overlays and services, I'm, I'm actually referring them to network services. So uh, network services like, uh, v you know, VPN, firewall, load balancer, WAF, IPS, IDS, you know, these types of services. So th th that is what we're focused on. I in addition to insertion and chaining of these services, so we're, we're uh, uh, doing things like auto scaling uh, uh, with uh, elastic load balancing for this service layer. So I'll, I actually have a demo uh, that will show you uh, through uh, a live demo that is running right now uh, of uh, elastic WAF service. So, and also we offer uh, distributed services uh, uh, like uh, distributed routing and so on. Um, and uh, we're also working with some uh, uh, vendors uh, like uh, our partners like Cavium Networks, Freescale and others in terms of even acceleration or, uh, in terms of scale up as, uh, in addition to scale out on uh, some of the services API functions. So basically, uh, we have uh, a concept of a template or a policy model to drive this whole uh, uh, network and service overlays. So uh, we are also co-contributors in the uh, uh, group policy working group uh, at OpenStack and uh, uh, as well as Open Daylight, working with some of the other vendors in, uh, uh, in coming up with a policy model. So essentially, you can have a, a template or a, uh, that, that describes the topology the services and the policies, and we, we drive that to realize the uh, the, the network overlay uh, as well as the service overlay. So this is uh, pretty much our, our solution. So if you look at it here at the at the bottom, if you have a, a share, the basically interconnected I IP switches or layer three switches, and uh, um, V switches in the servers, you know, like an open V, v switch, for instance. So uh, these together, uh, the uh, the interconnected uh, IP switches and the uh, V switches together form the shared infrastructure. So basically, on top of this, uh, we are creating this virtual tenant domains uh, with our uh, network and service overlay controllers. So we have uh, uh, our own controller. The whole platform is a software-only platform. So that can be deployed on any uh, any uh, hardware infrastructure. So basically, so within this, so we're able to create these uh, virtual tenant domains, and then based on based on the uh, the topology, the services, and the policies that are uh, de that are basically described in a template, we can automatically instantiate those uh, uh, those arbitrary topologies and services and policies into each of these uh, uh, tenant domains. So basically, there each each domain is fully isolated uh, from each other. So, for instance, uh, tenant A could have uh, like a, a three-tier network. Tenant B could have some test and dev type of thing. You know, wh whatever you want. So th this could be uh, for an enterprise. It could be different departments. It could be finance. Could be HR. So a completely isolated domain, and and you have uh, networks, 
basically uh, services and policies based on their uh, their needs so and there as as i mentioned in my earlier slide so we are bringing in our value add on top of this we we believe our differentiation with respect to other vendors in in, in this service layer so layer 4 through 7 so uh, uh, things like auto scale for instance so we have uh, we have uh, uh, our own uh, th th this whole thing is a software only platform uh, it is uh, it is integrated into into openstack uh, uh, neutron so we provide the new neutron backend to realize to do this uh, network and service virtualization so as well as we provide orchestration uh, in the front end so i'll show you what the ui looks like so uh, so basically so uh, we have our own network and uh, service overlay controllers as i mentioned they're they're fully uh, distributed clustered controller supporting ha uh, basically uh, and clustering so uh, uh, the uh, some of the other things is uh, we are we believe in in open architecture so uh, and and uh, le leverage uh, so standards where they exist so we're using basically open stack we're using open vswitch open flow ovsdb vxlan so in a way we're we're agnostic to the tunneling mechanism you can use vxlan uh, nvgre so so basically we're using all open source stuff, but really adding our value and innovation in filling the gaps and where we need to. And, and, and likewise, in some of the areas where things are missing, we're working with the, the, with, uh, with the OpenStack and ODL in helping fill some of those gaps. So uh, a couple of use cases that, that uh, we're working on. Uh, again, this product is not... Uh, we have not fully announced the product, but what we're working with uh, some early customers. So one of our uh, the customer use cases that we're working on is uh, uh, is uh, basically offering security as a service from the cloud, as opposed to premise offering it in the cloud. So essentially, uh, for this customer scenario, what they have is they they have a, a, a multi-tenant uh, platform where they're using the shared infrastructure. So creating customized you know security chains for each of their customer based on what what they're subscribing to and 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 with our platform b basically elastically scaling this uh, security service or service chains up and down you know leveraging the same infrastructure that is one use case that we're we're, we're working on and uh, another use case is this uh, uh, infrastructure as a service so basically it's a, a, a data center operator so wherein they, they provide uh, some of their uh, uh, some of the network services, uh, the, the, and along with that, they, they offer a supporting them with a model of uh, bring your own service, so that you can you can basically uh, insert into one of your virtual uh, tenant networks, basically. So uh, the carrier NFE use case is is pretty much another uh, use case for this. So uh, that we we are uh, uh, involved with. So now I'll I'll uh, kind of uh, show a little bit of the of the UI. So if you look at this, uh, this is uh, the the default OpenStack Horizon on which we added our NOC admin. Uh, tab so uh, and if I go, go in there so so you can see uh, so basically uh, so right now I'm logged in as a knock administrator so which means I have visibility across all the tenants if I log if I log in as a tenant admin you'll only see things specific to that one tenant so so the you know these are some of the things that that are showing here um, a and uh, basically, you can you can look through the overlay networks, the services. We have uh, logging, reporting, you know, d debug tools, and and various things. So um, we have a, a traffic pattern. So. 
So one of the things that we're showing here in our booth, and I can just pull up some of the screens, is this, this topology that is described in a template. It, this has a, a web application firewall uh, that is based on Nginx, and pretty simple topology that we have described it in a template, and we instantiated in one of these virtual tenant domains. And we have a traffic generator that is running. So uh, uh, with a varying pattern, and based on and and this particular template has auto scale policies uh, attached to the uh, web application firewall. So based on this auto scale policy, we're scaling the uh, the web application firewall instances, essentially horizontally scaling, spinning up more instances and modifying the network to do that, and then basically elastically doing this up and down. So I'll show you. Uh, so. So this is the this is the this is the traffic pattern that is running, as you can see, uh, you know this is fluctuating in this manner, and uh, and based on this, See, so based on this, you can see that we're auto scaling the the instances. This is showing the number of instances. So uh, the, they're going up and down. So I have uh, other snapshots that I took uh, yesterday, so which has a little better t t uh, pattern that is running. So if you look at it here, this is the traffic pattern that is running, and this uh, at the top uh, that is uh, showing the packets per second. At the bottom, we're showing the uh, number of instances of the service as you can see so this here this corresponds to this and then you know this this corresponds to this and then all these uh, spikes here so so we can you can you can basically uh, configure the auto scale policy uh, uh, there has a there is a cooldown period and things like that set up and we uh, right now we support about four or five parameters that we can scale uh, things on connections per second and uh, bandwidth and a few other things and and we're going to add uh, more and more things so these are some of the things that we're doing uh, basically in terms of adding value beyond what uh, some of these others have talked about in terms of providing uh, basic uh, uh, network overlays so so we are our focus and innovation is while providing the network overlays so really adding value in the service layer that that is what one convergence uh, solution is all about and uh, uh, as part of this we're we're uh, supporting open source uh, services whether it is ha proxy nginx uh, pfsense things of that sort as well as we're working with uh, oem uh, services for uh, load balancer firewall and waf so we will be we're working with a, a, a bunch of these partners so likewise, our solution is, will be, uh, we can work with uh, Red Hat and uh, Canonical's OpenStack uh, distros. So essentially, we can basically install on top. So uh, that's pretty much what I had. And there's a lot more to the UI uh, in terms of orchestration and other things that we provide. Would be happy to show you a demo at our booth. Or if you can contact us, we could do a WebEx or, or, uh, and demo things. So, and we can even provide a free e evaluation uh, license uh, for trying these things, things out. So, uh, uh, with that, I pretty much conclude. You know, thank you.